Google is killing Gcam. Sort of. A lot of headlines have been reading that Google is killing off Gcam. Or that Google is doing things in Android 11 that are going to disable Gcam. And they are correct. We are going to see a difference in the way that Gcam is going to be used on Android devices in Android 11. Let's talk about that and let's break that down. Can you guys tell me how this looks? Right now I'm using the 108 megapixel sensor uh, with only optical image stabilization on, on the Xiaomi Mi 10. So far I think it looks pretty good, although I do need to use a bit of a selfie stick to move the camera a little further away. Now it's been discovered and it's something that I have experienced firsthand that in Android 11 you are now no longer able to choose a camera app for a third party device. And this has been something that has affected me directly uh, twice now. And it's been a pain in my now before when you needed to use a picture or capture a picture for any application within android you would get this dialog box that would pop up it would say which camera application do you want to use and it would essentially allow you to pick from all of the different applications that utilize your camera this means that for certain applications you could choose to use gcam as the camera software for that specific application and now in android 11 you can't do that. Now, let's discuss for a moment why Google would be doing this and what would there be, if any advantage, to forcing users to use their default camera app. <laughs> well, in the case of lower tier Android devices that might not have a very good chipset, it would use the camera app that is more optimized for the hardware that's fully there on cameras. Another example of this is, for instance, uh, in an application like Gcam, I cannot capture video with the ultra wide camera. So if for some reason I was going into an application that required me to capture video with that application and I had to choose a default camera app, then I would have the potential to open that app, choose the Gcam app, and then not be able to record video. Or if I had an application that didn't utilize all the cameras, let's say. Well, if you guys are enjoying these videos, a thumbs up would be massively appreciated. If you want to support me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit me up on Twitter. It's a great place to interact with me. And if you want to put some money in my pocket, go ahead and use my affiliate links. It's of no cost to you and it keeps me from needing to find a sugar mama. Um, there would be restrictions that I could run into that would create a less streamlined user experience. To be frank, I think a big reason that Google is doing this right now and adding this update in Android 11 is that Google wants their ecosystem. Google wants the way people use Android devices to be more seamless and more cohesive. Can you guys hear that? I'm trying to use this lav mic. And ultimately, the best... This is my not happy face. Ultimately, the best application on a given cell phone to utilize the hardware there is, in most cases, the stock camera application. So by limiting this, Google can kind of close the ecosystem, close that walled garden, so that users have a more repeatable and more consistent user experience. Because one of the biggest criticisms that I hear from people when talking about Android is that compared to their iPhone, that it, their iPhone just works and it always works and they never encounter issues with it and it's reliable. So given that that is a benchmark that Google is trying to move forward to, I can understand their reason for limiting them. Now, by no means is this what I would call the death of Gcam. It's just the inconvenience of Gcam. Meaning that now, if you wanna use a photo from Gcam, you're gonna to have to take the photo within the Gcam app, close the app, open the newer app, and then upload that photo instead of just being able to choose the Gcam application and choose the Gcam software for that given photo. 
So it's another step and it overall just makes the experience of using a third party camera app in these applications less convenient, less smooth, and just less enjoyable overall. Well, this video's over. You might want to click this video over here to look at something about maybe some Xiaomi headphones or check out this video here to watch videos about the Poco F2 Pro's camera features. I'll wait for you.